Now let's move to part two of our module one, which is cycles of sun and moon. The main points of cycles of the sun and moon the rotation of Earth on its axis produces a cycle of day and night, and the revolution of Earth around the sun produces a cycle of the year. Because Earth orbits the sun, the sun appears to move eastward along the ecliptic through the constellations, completing a circuit of the sky in a year. Because the ecliptic is tipped 23.4 degrees to the celestial equator, the sun depends half the year in the northern celestial hemisphere and half in the southern celestial hemisphere. In summer, the sun is above the horizon longer and shines more directly down on the ground, producing warmer weather. In the winter, the sun is above the horizon for a shorter time and shines on the ground at an angle that produces colder weather. Summer occurs in the United States and Europe in July, August, September, while sun is in the northern sky. But the seasons are reversed in the Earth's southern half relative to the northern hemisphere. Australia, for example, experiences summer in January, February, and March when the sun is the southern sky. The beginning of the seasons marked by mineral equinox, the summer solicitic, and the autumnal equinox and winter solicitic. Scientists routinely test their own ideas by organizing theory and evidence into a scientific argument. The moon orbits eastward around Earth once a month and rotates on its axis keeping the same side facing Earth throughout the month. Because you see the moon by, ref by reflected sunlight, its shape appears to change as it orbits Earth and sunlight eliminates different amounts of the side you can see. The lunar phases wax from new moon to first equator to full moon and one from full moon to third quarter to new moon. Complete cycle of lunar phases takes 29.53 days, which is known as the moon's scientific period. The sidereal period of the moon, its orbit periods with respect to the stars, is 27.32 days, two more than two days shorter. If a full moon passes through Earth's shadow, sunlight is cut off and the moon darkness in a lunar eclipse. The moon is fully enters the dark amper of the Earth's shadow. The eclipse is total but if it only grazes the amper, the eclipse is partial. If the moon enters partial shadow of the penumbra but not the umbra, the eclipse is an umbra. During totality, the eclipsed moon looks copper red because of sunlight reflected through Earth's atmosphere. A solar eclipse occurs if a new moon passes between the sun and Earth and the moon's shadow sweeps over Earth's surface along the path of the totality. Observers inside the path of totality see a total eclipse, and those just outside the path of totality 
see a partial eclipse as the penumbra sweeps over their location. During a total eclipse, the bright photosphere of the sun is covered and the fainter corona chromosphere and prominences become visible. Sometimes just as totality begin, begins or ends, the bright photosphere peaks out through a valley at the edge of the lunar disk and produces the diamond ring effect. When the moon is near Bagi, Brigi, the closest point in its orbit, its angular diameter is large enough to cover the sun photosphere and produce a total eclipse. But if the moon is near a Abuji, the farthest, the farthest point in its orbit, it looks too small and cannot entirely cover the photosphere. A solar eclipse occurring then would be an annular eclipse. Looking at the sun is dangerous and can be burn the returns of your eyes. The safest way to observe the partial phases of a solar eclipse is by pinhole projection only during totality when the photosphere is completely hidden is it safe to look at the sun directly because the moon's orbit is typed a few degrees from the plane of the earth's orbit most full moons pass north or south of the earth's shadow and no lunar eclipse occurs. Also, most new moons cross north or south of the sun. The moon's shadow does not sweep over Earth, and there is, there is no solar eclipse. Eclipse can only occur when a full moon or a new moon occurs near one of the two nodes of its orbit. When where it crosses the ecliptic. These two eclipse seasons occur about six months apart, but move slightly earlier each year by keeping track of the location of the nodes of the moon's orbit. You could predict which full moon and new moons were most likely to be eclipsed. Eclipses follow a pattern lasting 18 years, 11 one-third days called Saros cycle. The scientific terms of this part, reasoning with numbers, the small angle formula. We have to formula for calculating small angles, which is angular diameter in arc seconds over 2.06 times 10 to the power 5 equal to linear diameter over distance. An example, the moon's linear diameter is 3470 kilometers and its average distance from Earth is 384,000 kilometers. What is its angular diameter? This is substitute in our formula. Anger diameter in arc seconds over 2.06 times 10 to the power 5 equal to linear diameter over distance, by which linear diameter we have from example is 3470 kilometers and distance will be 384,000 kilometers. Therefore, the angular diameter will be 1,870 arc seconds or 31 arc minutes, about 0.5 degrees. The following shape is the levels or 
the sides of total solar eclipse from a rare to the full total solar eclipse.